Welcome to the Hono War in Nagoya. I'm your host, Brick9mm, and tonight we have six exciting matches, including the very, very big matchup. Richard Richards will take on Tyson Apollo to determine who will be the next challenger for Danny Thorpe. Who will be the next person to challenge Danny Thorpe for his Hono World Heavyweight Championship? We also have exciting rematches such as Andronicus Turner versus Ross Cromley, a pure boxing matchup, but kicking things off, we have Eiko Takeshita, the newest hybrid fighter, taking on Azumi Takahashi. Now, both of these fighters are very grappling-focused, but Takeshita is leading with some strikes. Azumi tries to respond with some strikes of her own, but they fail to leave the mark. Perhaps she is just gauging, gauging her opponent. Takeshita being a relatively new fighter, and then Enzagiri from Azumi Takahashi, a massive, massive move to get her the lead in these early stages of the match, and she continues to ride that wave of momentum with a nice flying cross arm breaker, a capo strike rush, and she's going off the ropes, and Eiko Takeshita sidesteps whatever whatever Izumi was going to try, but Izumi with another flying cross arm breaker. Takeshita with a nice barrage of kicks there. She seems to be using her striking advantage. And a nice rolling shoulder hold from Eiko Takeshita, but Azumi Takashi gets out of it almost as soon as it was locked in. But Takeshita is continuing to use those strikes to her advantage. Massive kick fails to find its target. Takeshita trying to get Azumi down on the mat. And down on the mat she is with that massive cross arm breaker. Azumi with another Kapo strike rush, but takes the full force of a kick to the face, and that's the rodeo stretch. Although it stayed in for a surprisingly small amount of time, Azumi must have been rattled by that massive kick. And round one closes, round two begins, neither fighter with the clear advantage, but Eiko with another flying cross arm breaker. Peppering in some more strikes, that is a big thing with all of Eiko's strikes so far. They're very, very skillfully placed. She knows when to pick and choose just the moment to go for a strike. Eiko with a collar lock. And a series of short uppercuts. Azumi may have the size advantage, but it looks like Eiko's taking the lead. Azumi at the back. Float over. Eiko says no. Eiko with another collar lock to finish off that nice... Nice bit of mat grappling there. And Azumi with a massive kick goes for the arm bar. Eiko with another massive... Azumi with another massive kick and going for the shoulder hold. We should be starting to see some fatigue with Eiko's arms, but her striking is just as proficient as it was when the bell first rang. Azumi up at the six count, a nice strike rush, and goes for the leg. Perhaps not the smartest move, perhaps she should have continued to work on the arm. And another Kapo strike rush off the ropes, flying cross arm breaker. And Eiko's arms have sustained damage and a massive kick from Azumi Takahashi. Eiko 
with a flying cross arm breaker to close out round two, round three. Azumi looks to have the advantage here, but Eiko is a hybrid fighter. They could catch up with their strikes at any moment. But Azumi is continuing to work on the arms, continuing to weaken the potential strength of those strikes. She pins Eiko down and begins to work on the arm again, and that is all. Azumi Takahashi won this matchup with her skillful usage of arm work. Finishing things off with a great arm hold. Welcome back to the Hono War in Nagoya as Chai Todennoi, the newest kickboxer here in Hono, is making their Twitch debut against Victor Kai. It is a pure kickboxer versus kickboxer matchup. Chai was just in a match on Afterburn against fellow kickboxer Melanie Tanaka. A very, very violent match that ended with a brutal knee strike rush critical, critical knockout. Whether or not that will have any effect on his performance tonight is anyone's guess. Meanwhile, Victor Kai is a former professional wrestler turned kickboxer. He is currently feuding with the community chest, Mr. Monopoly's stable. Those bastards that run the the, the off. Have you ever seen the off? I, I hear they're running again, but anyway, here's this kickboxing matchup, kickboxing contest. Chai Toden Noi with a big kick rush already. And continuing to hammer away with those knees. Victor Kai with a palm strike. That is nothing compared to the, the excellent strike rushes we have seen from Chai Toden Noi so far. And Kai trying to catch up with those small kicks takes the back. Chai says no. Chai just trying to strike at Victor Kai, but Kai is skillfully guarding against each and every one. This is a very technical matchup. Chai is starting to land even more strikes, but that was a massive hook from Victor Kai. I'm surprised it didn't knock him down. Kai takes the back and a great rush. A great knee rush. They enter into an exchange of strikes. Who will come on out on top? And it is Chai Todennoi. Hono's latest kickboxer hailing from Thailand. Kai with a great knee strike rush. You ask me, I think he needs to try some more of those great hooks. And a, another palm strike from Kai. This is a very tense striking matchup and a knee to the face. Chai with those short uppercuts. Kai with a palm strike and a massive back skin spin kick. But Chai catching up immediately with a great strike rush. Round two, this match could be over any second with great strike rushes like that from Chai Todennoi. Kai up at the five count. Kai with another one of those great hooks, but Chai Todennoi. Chai just busted Kai open. And a great strike rush. This could be the end for Victor Kai. 
Kai up at the five count. The blood has to be getting in his eyes. Chai with a knee to the head. Kai with a big, big strike rush there, but both men. Both men are worn out at this point. One more massive strike rush, and this could be it. And that is all. Chai Todennoi with a great victory here at the War in Nagoya. Welcome back to Honeo War in Nagoya. I'm your host, Brick 9mm, and here is Masaki Sogai, the hybrid fighter, the new hybrid fighter making waves here in Honeo. He will be taking on Virginia Caldwell, and this will be a pure hybrid fighter versus hybrid fighter contest. However, even though they're both hybrid fighters, they have very, very different approaches as Virginia Caldwell is a very westernized style of hybrid fighter, whereas Masaki Isogai is that pure Japanese pancrase style. Isogai follows a strict code of honor. He never shows his toes. And Caldwell already with a great rolling leg lock, but Isogai knew just how to get out of that. Isogai trying, trying to just gauge his opponent there with those massive kicks, see if they hit the mark, and another great leg lock. It seems Virginia Caldwell knows, knows what Masaki Isogai's game is here, and she is working to neutralize or at least make sure those kicks do not hit as effectively as they could great uppercuts from masaki so guys so far and there's a chop you see it is all in the striking that's how you see how distinct this fighter is from all of our other hybrid fighters Still taking it a bit slow, that's how you know these two fighters are some of the best. Very defensive fighters. Caldwell attempting to get Isogai down on the mat, but fails. Isogai sees if he can, but no, to no avail. And entering into the grapple, Caldwell with the flying cross arm breaker. Isogai, massive strike rush. Not long, not massive enough to keep Caldwell grounded, but almost. 
Caldwell with another rolling leg lock. And Isogai with a massive kick, perhaps a foolish move after all this legwork, but it seems to have paid off so far. Round two. Neither fighter in the clear advantage yet, but Caldwell has a clear plan. Of course, Isogai might have a clear plan as well, just pummeling her. And another big strike rush, L long enough to capitalize, but no Caldwell. Caldwell perhaps may have been playing possum there. And again, Caldwell capitalizes on that opportunity to work on Masaki Isogai's legs. But Isogai wins this one with a nice rear choke. And Isogai with a massive wheel kick there, but it failed to find its target. I'm not sure what he was going for there. And again. And Caldwell with a skillful reversal. Working on the leg once more. Isogai. Back at the back. And that is all. I'm very surprised. But you know when you lock in a good submission hold like that. All it takes is one good hold. It is not every day where we get to see championship boxer Sam Bob, but he is here tonight and he is here to face Zemir LeBay. Yes, Zemir may not be in the booth with me tonight, but I wish he was because he is a lot better at, at writing eulogies. Yes, Zemeyer recently coming off a bit of a nasty injury. And he might be in the hospital again after tonight. I kind of have to question the man who booked this match. They might be a sadist. But anyway, it's Zemeyer LeBay. And uh, you really can't count out any fighter here in Honoho. Even if they're facing champion boxer Sam Bopp. And besides, they were just injured. They had plenty of time to, to think over strategies. And a massive headbutt rush from Sam Bopp. That is very rare for him. He's usually a sportsman-like fighter. But Zemeyer LeBay. Zemeyer, do not count out Zemeyer. Of course, Bop is getting in punch after punch after punch, but Zemire's consciousness is- He is busted! Busted wide open by Sam Bop. Bop perhaps trying to make the bleeding even worse by going into another short uppercut. And no, it's time! The uppercut! That is Sam Bop's deadly finishing maneuver, and he could be going for it again. Zemeyer was a good man, but now he is up on his feet again against all odds. And Bop is gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, the, the pool of blood getting ever bigger, but Zemeyer is up again. This is one of those instances where you should just stay down. Zemeyer pinning Bob down. An excellent front neck lock for the man who shouldn't even be conscious right now. Will he make it out of the first round? 
And yes, it looks like he will. A great hip throw from Zamire LeBay, making it into round two against the, the insane fighter Sam Bob, but that should be it. And that's all she wrote, lasting 15 seconds into round two. Of course, Zamire might be injured again after that. We, we're going to have to get the doctors out. Thanks for booking this, jerk. It is now time for our co-main event, Andronicus Turner will be taking on Ross Cromley in a great rematch from their very intense match here in Hono before. Now an update on that last match, Zemir LeBay taken out with a devastating blow to the head. We will have news on that on the Hono website. Whether or not he's injured, you know, the doctors are still checking on it. Ross Cromley sporting a new interesting haircut. I remember when he had a full head of hair. They grow up so fast. Yes, boxing versus boxing. Cromley teasing with two. Two urticants. And a third. Those are those deadly strikes that have sent men flying out of the ring before. But Turner is putting the pressure on. He is putting the pressure on to tell Cromley to stop messing around. This will be a pure striking matchup. Cromley with another Erdogan. Andronicus Turner skillfully, skillfully dodging. That devastating rolling Erdogan. Is, is like Ross is to Ross Cromley what the fierce low kick is to Vanessa Saunders. And he is using it to skillfully psych out Andronicus Turner, and Turner falls down to the mat. Turner attempting a great uppercut there, but it does not find its mark. Cromley seems to achieve his goal of psyching out Turner with flying colors, but Turner sends Cromley down to the mat and a massive uppercut and another uppercut this isn't looking too good for Ross Cromley they enter into an exchange of strikes who will come out on top and it is Andronicus Turner but they are both already already very worn out Cromley with a massive strike rush. And Turner with the knockout punch. Cromley up at the four count. Round one is soon to draw to a close, but will Turner score any falls on Cromley? That was... Whoa! Cromley went for the rolling urticant. Andronicus Turner 
hit him in the back of the head, knocking him out. But it is round two and he is up. He is up again and he's clutching his neck. This is something you do not see every day in Oh No, but adrenaline. Adrenaline only lasts so long. Very, very intense matchup. You see, when these two guys fight, they always find a way to make it memorable. It is now time for our main event here in the war in Nagoya. Richard Richards will be facing Tyson Apollo and the winner will be Danny Thorpe's next opponent at Hono number 4. It is hybrid fighter versus boxer Richard Richards is a very, very arrogant fighter. In fact, he challenged Tyson Apollo for his spot in that Danny Thorpe match, the spot he had already earned. And since Tyson Apollo is such, such a good fighter, he has no doubt that he can take out Richard Richards right here, right now. However, Richard Richards may not be the most dominant fighter on every day of the week, but he is filled with plenty of surprises and he very well could be the next challenger for Danny Thorpe pins. Tyson Apollo down on the mat, Apollo skillfully slides out. This match is already well underway. A test of strength, Apollo. Apollo wins. Richards with a massive flying cross arm breaker. Things are starting to slow down a bit as Richard Richards is evaluating the strategies available to him. Richards continuous, continuousing, continuously engaging in grapples with Tyson Apollo to, to not accomplish anything besides prevent him from getting more strikes off. At the back sleeper hold Jesus that is what that is what I mean when I say Richard Richards you never know what to expect that that was a choke right out of a video game did you hear it did you hear the snap Richard Richards has successfully secured his spot in the Danny Thorpe World Heavyweight Championship match just like that God, Richard Richards. This was a very memorable night, and to top it all off, Richard Richards with a power move like that. It just goes to show that when Richard Richards is serious, no man can stop him. Could even Danny Thorpe might not be able to stop a man who's capable of things like this. Thank you for watching the Hono War in Nagoya. I'm your host, Brick9mm. Stay tuned for Afterburn, Hono number 4, and the Off Gauntlet. Good night.